Hello and welcome to this special Sky Channel presentation as Glenn Kelly attempts to win the undisputed light heavyweight championship of the world as he takes on the pound for pound king Roy Jones Jr. And joining me throughout the afternoon is boxing writer Paul Upham and Paul it's a huge ask, can he do it? Great day for Australian boxing Matthew and a great opportunity for Glenn Kelly. Not many people get a chance to fight for the world title, let alone the undisputed uh, light heavyweight title. Yeah, and interesting to note, during the week, Roy Jones has said that he's not as hungry as he used to be, which I think is an extraordinary statement to make. Good signs there for Glenn that uh, Roy can be taken, ready to be taken. He's obviously concentrating on other things. He's got his rap CDs, filming video clips, saying he's not hungry. What a chance for Glenn Kelly to win the titles today. Now, Jeff Fennick maintains that uh, Glenn Kelly must come out aggressively. That's sort of almost against his nature, though, isn't it? I think we can see him starting slowly. You can see Jeff's going to try and really rev him up in the corner there, but he has to fight for every minute of every round. Put the pressure on Roy. Roy likes to take breaks, and if you give him the chance, he will take those breaks and just outbox from the outside. And it also comes down to confidence. Glenn must go into this fight full of confidence. At times, perhaps he's wavered in that area, but uh, he's got to be mentally right on his game, hasn't he? Well, this is a career, ch a life-changing opportunity, Matthew, and he's really got to focus totally on the fight and not let the, the aura of, the, of Roy Jones Jr. and the, uh, the occasion get to him, that much, tremendous uh, opportunity and uh, hopefully he can put it all together. Now of course also on the card or also on the big day is Bernard Hopkins and uh, he's going for the record. This is his first fight since he defeated Felix Trinidad. Trying to ba break uh, Carlos Monzon's record, make his 15th successful uh, defence of the middleweight title as the undisputed champion now and uh, great to see him in, in uh, action today Matthew. Now let's just have a look at the top 10 middleweights in the world at the moment and at number 10 Howard Eastman who was recently beaten by William Joppy for the vacant WBA title, Raymond Haval and uh, then Keith Holmes is a well known fighter, he briefly held the WBC title, Ahmad Kragnik, Harry Simon who's a fighter who they think is very good, Felix Trinidad at number 2 and Bernard Hopkins. So really at this stage Paul, Bernard Hopkins is well and truly ahead of the field there. He's definitely the man in the middleweight division, the undisputed champion and uh, be interesting to see how Felix Trinidad comes back uh, after that loss but at the moment Hopkins is the dominant force at middleweight. And of course that's the middleweights. Let's now have a look at the light heavyweights and at number 10 Lou Duval. Bruno Gerard, David Telesco. You look through that list there, Paul, and you see that there's a lot of fighters there that Roy Jones has actually defeated, except number two there, Darius Michael Chesky. There's been a lot of talk about a big fight between he and Roy Jones. I have no doubt that Roy Jones would fight the German if he just would simply come to the US, but he's been reluctant to do so. And as you said, Roy Jones, really, he has fought and beaten everybody in the light heavyweight division so far. Yeah, and we saw there also Richard Hall, who recently went over and fought uh, Darius Michael Chesky. A lot of people are saying he got a bad deal there in that fight. Apparently it was a very close fight, Matthew, and, and Hall's a good fighter, but really Roy Jones is above everybody else at light heavyweight. And also at the pound for pound ratings, let's have a look at those now, and we can see there Costa Zoo in at number 10, Ricardo Lopez, who's been around forever, he's number 9, he's the one of the, the greats of Mexican boxing, Oscar De La Hoya, Felix Trinidad still there despite his loss to Bernard Hopkins, Shane Mosley, Vernon Forrest, Marco Antonio Barrera, who is of course setting himself for that big fight against Eric Morales. Floyd Mayweather Jr., some people are saying he should be number one. Bernard Hopkins at number two and Roy Jones, the pound for pound king. And what a fight that will set up if both Jones and Hopkins win today. Two undisputed champions uh, meeting, never been done before Matthew and uh We'll get to see both of them in action today. But what it just shows, Matthew, is how good is Roy Jones. He's been on top for so long uh, after sh and back on top after Shane uh, Mosey's shock loss last week. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic afternoon of fight action with both Hopkins and Roy Jones fighting. Let's now take you ringside for all the action.